Jesse J. And I am Chuck Duran. Here we go with part two with Ilko Jostowski. Are you ready? Let's do it. So Ilko, what do you think are the ingredients for a successful client-agent relationship? Live next door to Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> and have him direct everything to me. Um, you know, I don't know. It's, what's the secret to any great relationship? Um... I'll tell you what I look for an actor. Yeah. Show up on time mm -hmm. and show up on time. Show up on time? Because it's show business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't show up on time, there's no business. Right. So, uh, you know, do the job right. Don't make me look bad because it's my name first. Yeah. You know, they're the ones who are going to come crying to me. Yeah. Um, like I say, it's 10% of the money and 100% of the grief. Yeah. So that's... <laughs> That, that's sort of how it is. Um, there are some actors who are very um, special and need extra attention. Yeah. And and that's fine. Yeah, I get it. And there are other actors who are very, very hands-off and very personal. I mean, I, I repped an actor for four years, and three years in, I realized, or I, I was told he was married with children. And I was like... <laughs> You've never even thought about, like, <laughs> telling me? you know, you yeah. see pictures of my kid and my wife, I, and you never, like, oh, you're married, you know. So it's it's mm -hmm. very interesting that way, and other actors are very much like, oh, my girlfriend last night, so on and so forth. So, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm part agent, I'm part tax collector, I'm part therapist, therapist, shrink, talking off the ledge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why was I submitted and that person not, or <laughs> why was I not submitted and that person yes, yeah. and so on and so forth. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. it's a, well, it's it, an it interesting shuffle game. Yeah, it but it sounds to me that you know you kind of like getting to know the people that you're working with, and not uh, just be like, hey man, I'm just here to do one, which is cool. And that's, I think that's really important, man. I think that you need to have a good communication uh, a nice level of communication with your with your agent you know well it's um, that balance you exactly know? you don't need to say that i'm in the trader joe's right now and this is what i'm buying and and then being completely a wall. I mean, you have to find the best because you have a life too yeah and you know you have to keep that professional relationship i think to a certain extent yeah Absolutely. What is, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here, okay? Mm. <laughs> what is something, and and maybe something that somebody's done in the past, or maybe recently, whatever, but what is something, maybe one or two things that, that, an, that, an, that a talent will do, okay, that you, that you might represent that will instantly just turn you off and be like, this is not going to work out? Like, what are some, a couple like no-nos with you? Don't ever make a producer call me from the session Oof. to say, you guys late, or you guys acting like a jack, or you guys showed up drunk. Oh, boy. You've had that happen? Holy He's Toledo. not talking about me. Just no. So you know. <laughs> Not this week. Yeah. Who are we talking about? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> just where Chuck gets a little TMZ. He we likes know it's names, not Tom we'll Snow. <laughs> hey, Tom, because he's watching this right now. When, uh, yeah, and I've gotten these calls five oh, minutes man. after the session, and yeah. I know who the producer is, and I'm just like, oh, boy. Yeah. Got to prep, got to do the inhale. Yeah. Hey, man, what's going on? <gasps> no, really? All right, hold on a second. Let me call him. Mm -hmm. You know, so I got to be all like, it's all cool, nothing, you know, got to play it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so producer out there, you're not listening to this part. Yeah. Um, and other times it's, you know, I got to just, I got to just eat it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to just eat it. And, uh, and I've had to eat it quite a few times. Yeah. But that's okay, you know, because that's part of the, yeah. uh, it's part of the game. Yeah. I mean, that's what I signed up for. I get it. I get it. Well, I mean, you have you you started as an assistant, and here you are a co-owner and partner. How do you stay passionate about being an agent? How do you keep your reserves full and be excited to go to work? 
I, I'm assuming you're excited. <laughs> He's like, He's like actually, I'm excited I'm a, to go to work? I have an announcement to make. Yes, you are. You'll <laughs> oh, man. Remember, you, you're excited. so funny. Uh, I, I love work with my actors in the booth. And there are some I especially love working with. Yeah. Uh, one, because they're great. And two, because of the chitty chat time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, uh, there are many of my actors I absolutely respect their opinion yeah. uh, on films, filmmaking, actors. Yeah. And I love having debates and arguments and agreements over yeah. great performances, and mediocre performances, so on and so forth. Um, it, that's all fun and games. Uh, other times it's just like yo i ain't got time to chat so yeah. lay it yeah. down you better get it down in one cut and i'll and see you later mm -hmm. see you next time yeah mm -hmm. um you know how do i stay passionate i don't know i don't know when the checks come in that makes me very excited <laughs> that makes yeah. you pretty yeah. passionate because right that's there. basically my payday yeah you know yeah. when the when the when the check is delivered in the mail that's when i get paid yeah. every other second of the day i'm working for free wow that's what People fail to understand yeah. Yeah. often. Yeah. Uh, Which is why you need to be out there selling the stuff, getting the stuff out. Yeah. But I think that I think that voice talent need to be more empathic about the fact that you got you as agents have bills to pay. You have lives. You are doing a lot of pro bono work, basically. Mm -hmm. And I think we as talent make it all about, oh, I need this to work. And I, well, you guys have to keep the lights on, and you guys have stress and worry too. So I think that. If we kind of put each other's shoes on a little bit more, I think it would be be better place. And now a number of I know a number of actors who've segued from acting to agenting or mm -hmm. managing, mm -hmm. so they understand both aspects. Yeah. Exactly. And me being a former extra performer, uh, extra artist, uh, I fully Where understand. Where can we see your all. work? Do you have any work that we can see? I'm the third skeleton from the left. Well. Don't name Two it. fantastic films. Yes. They were so good, they were made into a part four and a part five. Mm. Uh -huh. I was in Leprechaun 4. Yes, oh. I was. And I was <laughs> in Children of the Corn, part oh, five. You were? We love Children oh, of the Corn. I know. Now I got to watch it again. Uh, Children of the Corn, part five. My scene hit the editing room floor. <gasps> oh. <sighs> yes. And it was the opening sequence, too. Really? The children come out of the corn and kill the, uh, kill the farmer. And they set up the camera on the floor. And me and all the, all, the, all the extra souls showed up and started going at the camera on the floor yeah. with the rain machine on in Camarillo. You were robbed, man. In June, in which June. is warm, but in not June. at four in the morning. It's not so warm at no. four in the morning. No, And I PA'd on that film, and uh, they said, hey, want to make a couple extra bucks and get a SAG chit? So I'm like, yeah. I was wrapped. They put me in there. Well, I quickly went from being the cool PA everybody loved to being an extra. Uh, so no okay. longer was I allowed to stand next to the heating machine and that sort of stuff. I was like, you know what, dudes? I'm soaked <laughs> to the bone. Not for 60 bones. Yeah, right? No. Let's go here. And on Children of the Corn, four, I'm sorry, in uh, Leprechaun 4, yeah. I PA'd for the pickup shots. Mm -hmm. And mine was the only hand that could fit in the Leprechaun <laughs> glove. <laughs> So every close-up you see of that film, it's that's your, this guy. Oh, this guy. That's good, Well, man. all I'm saying is get ready for the fan mail, Ilko, because... Absolutely, dude. Overnight success right here. And well, the Mr. director Leprechaun of the film, I, a phenomenal director, Brian Trenchard-Smith, yeah. he directed a great, great film in the mid-70s called The Madden from China, which had one of the most intense fight sequences ever. Yeah. And I started casually mentioning him. I said, you know, I saw your movie the other day on TV. And then he totally loosened up and lightened uh. up. And we were chatting about that. Because another one of my famous great, great good actors, uh, Hugh Keensburn, was in it. Uh, he played Toe Cutter in Mad Max. Yeah, I'm a yeah, huge yeah, Mad yeah, Max yeah. guy. Yes, yes. Uh, Vernon Wells is one of my clients. I'm a huge fan of Vernon. Love Vernon. And uh, so it... it, it Got loosened up. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, I no yeah. longer had to sweep up the sound stage. I was wearing the glove yeah, 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 all day. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. So, oh. so yeah. If you ever you see that arrived. film, okay. yeah. Well, everybody's gonna watch. Everyone's it gonna go to that red box to Netflix. Absolutely. It's all, all right. the close-ups of the hand. It's mm. righteous. Just you fast can't forward to those. Parts. Miss it. So let's talk about auditions. Um, obviously, you guys have an in uh, in-house booth, right? Who directs over there? 
That'd be me. You direct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, and then do you encourage or discourage uh, your talent to send auditions in recorded at home? Well, if you're recording for guy number one or guy number two for McDonald's spot, yeah, you better do that standing on your head at home. Okay. Um, But if it's something that requires a little bit more love, a little bit more brain massaging, a a video game, a trailer read, a promo read, a big commercial campaign, yeah, then please come in. Come in. Come in. Or Skype it in. Skype it in. Okay, yeah. that's good nice. too. Because and then I hear the direction right then and there. I say, yeah. give me cut one, give me cut three, and then just email it. You do the editing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, when somebody does send stuff in, do you care what it sounds like quality-wise? You Absolutely. Want to okay. If it's not working, I'll let them know. Okay. I say, so, I'm sorry, I just can't submit this. So, so somebody that's... sends something that he rec- they recorded on an iPhone, and it's like... <sighs> You're gonna accept- well, that's a fine line. If, <laughs> if, on occasion, we've gotten a request for an actor. Uh-huh. Yo, dude, can you do a read? No, I can't. I'm in LAX right now. Well, lay it down right now. I don't care the quality. They requested you do it. And then the job books. I see. So that has wow. happened. Okay. That has happened. Other times we've gotten auditions either on an iPhone or a home setup that sounds like they're in a big warehouse yeah. where they put a helmet a, you know, big bucket on their head like a helmet. Yeah. Uh, that's just not going to jive. Okay. Because it's um, representing you and your yeah, agency. Yeah, yeah. Sound good. Precisely. If it's just a little bit off, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Okay. But, I mean, really, if you sound like you're in at Costco or there's dogs <laughs> in the background <laughs> or, a sh- or a shootout, you know, then, yeah, then the I, arcade. sorry, okay. I can't. I, I can't do it. Okay. I can't do okay, it. Okay, cool. So, yeah. so that sound from home needs to be up to par. It needs to, it needs to sound good. Um, and it doesn't really take that much to set up no, a home No, it doesn't. Set. It right. sounds great. Right. Yeah. So. Do you have some advice for someone watching about what they can do to be successful in the business? Some do's and maybe even some don'ts. Things to do, things to avoid. I know that's a very broad question, but... Hmm, that is a very broad question. Uh, just keep your chops up. I gotta tell everyone, you know, Michael Jordan showed up every day and threw up a thousand shots. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of shots. Yeah. That's why we're still talking about Michael Jordan now, because he really was the greatest player ever. Ever. Um, even though he played for the Bulls. Um, he just kept practicing, he kept working on it. Read out loud, read in the shower, record commercials, mute it out and dub it over. Right. You know, um, just keep your chops up, Yeah. really. And go there, go there. Go there. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I, I always tell people it, it's, it's much easier to pull somebody back from going too much yeah. than to push them yeah. yeah. To the Get limit. Over. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And and specifically when I mean that, I mean in uh, animated uh, video game stuff. Just yeah. really, really go there. Yeah. Really go there. Find a really weird tone or a weird voice because, you know, they're going to hear a, several hundred of the same routine. And if you're different enough, there you go. Okay. That's yeah. cool, man. Yeah. There you go. So, you know, I'm going to go back to the, the, the demo section that we were talking about earlier because I think this is important, you know. Uh, uh, there's a lot of people out there running around, and they may have talent, right? Um, but they're really cheap on their business. And I always tell somebody, why are you going to be cheap with your business? Invest in yourself, you know. Be, that's what I do. That's what you do. That's what people that make money do. Um, so let's talk about a homemade demo something that com- screams i was made at home or something that's professionally produced what do you want to hear a professionally produced demo is produced by a pro a pro engineer a pro director somebody who really has an ear and fine tuning of equalizing everything music's right. not too hot the vocal tracks not too hot or too low uh, they also have access to contemporary sound beds true and that's so key. I mean, it's so key. If you put and the something copy cheesy, sounds like it's from this century. Yeah, yeah. it's actually happening now. I mean, I, I, I like I tell people, even even magazines have great copy. Go to the Coca Cola website. That's yeah. one big commercial. Yeah. Go to the Dr Pepper website. It's one big commercial. Yeah. 
record commercials on prime time. TiVo it. You can actually TiVo only the commercials. Yeah. Do they even have TiVo anymore? They do, I think. But everyone understands yes. what I mean by yeah. that. But yeah. when they don't have TiVo, we have something else. <laughs> Instead of recording the whole show without commercials, you can record all the commercials without the show. Yeah. yeah. Then you'll see what's being advertised when, on what shows. How it sounds. How it sounds on which shows. Yeah. And then you can tailor or craft your demo specifically to that. Exactly. Ilko, you were very instrumental in building the Spanish division at TGMD, mm -hmm. and you are bilingual. Little Chuck is bilingual. Si, it's senor. Just a Spanish. Let's talk a little bit about that and and the marketplace, the Spanish market. It's growing, obviously. It's a huge market. What is what are the trends and and just the whole aspect of the bilingual aspect? Uh, trends. That's funny. It also goes back to general market. Uh, yeah. I'm hearing more conversational, fun, casual reads. Uh, it's trending a little bit younger. Um, because a lot of the Spanish stuff, I remember, used to be kind of like, you know, over the top and really energetic, right? Absolutely. So is that coming like... Like the soccer. Yeah. Yeah. It's very bit. much toned down. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's, 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 that's very much toned down. And, um, you know, I have a pretty strong stable. Uh, yeah. A number of my actors have been with the agency since day one, so I sort of inherited them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, phenomenal actors in many respects. Yeah. Uh, they voice over and feet TV and film, and, and they've stayed true and stayed loyal through the thick and thin. Yeah. And uh, I've recruited a number of new actors over the years. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's one of the divisions Steve brought me in for, but it wasn't the only one. Right. Mm -hmm. I, when Steve initially brought me in, he brought me in as an assistant for everybody, and he also asked me to organize it. Yeah. Because they didn't really know the strengths or the weaknesses of the actors. Mm -hmm. And I would say, well, you know, these sound older, these sound younger. You're going to need a couple more here, a couple more here. So Steve gave me the uh, opportunity and... and and, and the freedom to recruit. That's cool. And, mm -hmm. and I did. And I worked with a number of my actors uh, personally uh, in the booth recording in Spanish. Yeah. And they hooked some pretty serious accounts over the years. Wow. So, uh, I mean, needless to say, the Spanish market is probably a pretty hot market. Is it more or less competitive than the English market? I, I would say just as. Just as? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a smaller segment yeah. of the mm -hmm. overall budget, but uh, yeah, no, it's fiercely competitive. And cool. when you're talking about a demo, um, because I know I've seen where it's they want actual Spanish spots, accented Spanish, non-accented English, Spanish. I mean, so if someone's creating a demo, a Spanish demo. Mm -hmm. Do you want what do you want to what do you want to hear on that to really represent? Uh, just like any demo, I want to hear big ticket items. I want to hear telecom. I want to hear car. I want to hear some sort of soft drink, maybe a candy, uh, maybe a realtor spot, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a partner read, and then what I call chef's choice. You know, if yeah. if you're into Vegas tourism, then totally. Yeah. If you're into the National Broccoli Board, please be my guest. Yeah. You know, what, what broccoli about, needs more advertising. <laughs> broccoli does do. need more. It's the what underrated <laughs> vegetable. <laughs> what about what about having a Spanish demo and then having one of the sp spots be uh, an English spot but with a Spanish accent? Does that work or? Yeah, that's not completely going to throw me off. It's uh, not going to gonna throw you off. Honest. Yeah. Is it? it uh, do you get called for things like that where we say, "Yeah, we want a Spanish accent on this." Yeah, on occasion. On occasion. Yeah, on, on occasion we'll get it. Um, then I bring in my usual suspects for yeah. it. Uh, and then I'll also even bring in some of my non-Spanish actors who can do a really good like okay. mock-up or a good, mm -hmm. you know, joke of it. Because right. usually when they ask for that, it's a little bit more of a parody yeah. spot. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, I want quote, to quote you to uh -oh. yourself. She's going to quote what? Um, <laughs> I like to quote people back to this. Uh, I read where you said, judging by the number of broadcasts, spots, trailers, and live television he has done, the first voice heard by other life forms is probably going to be Don LaFontaine. Mm-hmm. What is your, <laughs> you had the beautiful good fortune of working and knowing him. What, what are some of your fondest memories of, of working with him? Because as we know, he was at TGMD for pretty much his entire career. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, well, one of the 
he's not called the king of big screen for no reason. Yeah, uh, it's one of the most generous, certainly talented. That, I mean, that yeah. that goes without saying. But yeah. his generosity. I mean, he's created so many careers. Uh, it's so generous. I mean, I, I don't know how else to sum it up. Yeah. He was really genuine, really real, um, on time. And if he wasn't on time, he would let you know. And yeah. that was cool. Everybody waited for Don. It yeah. was great. He helped so many copywriters. He's helped so many producers and directors over the years. He's helped so many engineers, so many people yeah. over the years. Uh, he's just a lovely man. Gravely missed. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Man. Industry pioneer. Yeah. And generous. I mean, I'm just going to go back to it. he's such an incredibly generous man with his talent and with his skill. He never felt threatened by anybody, uh, by any new talent. Uh, he felt it was more of a challenge. Yeah. He was bring it on. In fact, he would take them to yeah, session the ride with them so they can learn. Help, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If that's the sound the producer wanted, then yeah. the mm -hmm. artistry that was delivered by the other actor, do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, so I generous what was that so way was so cool is that obviously the voice of God and he had that booming trailer sound but what I thought was always so cool when you hear him do things that were unexpected and so he was more than just that one lane and yeah no he was not a one trick pony by any yeah. stretch yeah. Uh, he was so funny yeah. so funny I mean I directed him on a number of different reads and I would say uh, Don that was great but you know, you brought it in just a little bit too much, so can you shave three seconds off? No problem. And like a metronome. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in three seconds sooner. Wow. He was just on. Yeah. yeah. He was just absolutely on. That's And so again, great. funny. I mean, he cracked some jokes that were yeah. just so funny. He was a very, uh, yeah, we missed Don so That's much. Sad. Yeah, yeah every, we all I do, know. man. I think the entire, I anybody know. who had the chance of meeting him or even hearing about him, you know, and his mm -hmm. stories and stuff like that. Yeah, the first time I ever met Don, I was like, he's my height. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. I'd never even seen a picture of him, for goodness yeah. sakes. So, I, damn, all right, cool. Right on, right <laughs> yeah, on for the shorties. Cool. <laughs> and then when he cut his hair off completely, mm. uh, I still had hair at the time. Yeah. We were all like, what? Wow! <laughs> and the first thought that came into my mind was like, we could so do him as Bruce Willis's dad in the next Die Hard movie. Ah! Like, it just <laughs> bang right to me. Like a vision. Yeah, no, yeah. it was like, yeah. damn. Yeah, he goes like, I'm that. getting on the phone and trying to sell that right now, man. Oh, that's Is that funny. why you shaved your head? No, I shaved my head because I was going bald and it was oh, looking okay. bad. Yeah, well, I got to say that today when he showed up with his glasses yeah. on, I know. You look like a freaking Well, you rock star. have a really, I mean, because not everyone can do the 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 bald head, and you, it's good. You've got a good shape. I mean, I'm. I'm I, I got to tell you, it was going thin <laughs> about ten you. years ago. Yeah. And my wife said, just just <laughs> cut it all off. You 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 you've lost the fight. You're defeated. Well, you have such a you know a cute young face, so Thank it, you. it's uh, you know, and you don't have those weird like dropped on your head dead. So. <laughs> You know, I look for, I'm yeah. a detail person. The hammer I'm low to the ground. These are the things hammer I see. Knots. <laughs> so <laughs> I, it was a little shocking when I first cut it. Yeah. It was like uh, like that Pauly Shore film in the army yeah. now. Yeah. That one scene when yeah. he cut off his signature yeah. hair mm. and he did that scream. I did that too. I was just like, all I did was touch my head for oh, an hour. Man, and I didn't shave right? it face shave. Yeah. Just yeah. left the marine cut on. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? It's like reverse Samson. It's working. You got your it's, power. So yeah, it's so, so liberating. It's so liberating. I used to fuss over my hair so much, oh and now God. it's just like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hair. <laughs> think of the time and money you say. Oh, that's so um, good. Ilko, what do you think have been the keys to your success in your life? Honey. Uh oh. No, honey is a statement. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I've always felt you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Uh, back when I was in my production days, I had to deal with many agents, theatrical agents. Mm. And not even for celebs or nothing. You know, for sort of scrub actors. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and they were truly D-bags, and I was like, People are aliens. I never want to be in that world, ever. I don't 
I don't, I just, I don't see how anybody wants to work with these people. Right. They were just aliens. And right out of college, I actually worked with lawyers, so they truly are aliens. And <laughs> it was just, it was such an unpleasant experience, some of these agents. Yeah. They were so harsh and just unpleasant. I mean, just mm -hmm. unpleasant yeah. that I vowed I was never going to deal with that yeah. ever. I was never going to just exert mm -hmm. my energy or power. Yeah. It's just, it's bad chi. Yeah. It just puts bad energy out there. And it's going to come back triple. Absolutely. And I've just never felt that way, ever. I mean, I've had to get heavy with people on occasion, but they forced my hand. Yeah. Um, you know, more flies with honey. Yeah. I, I've always felt good karma and good love out there yeah. a lot better than just being a cutthroat shark. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's just I've never, I've never been in that mentality. And I don't even think I can put myself in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's just not yeah, who you are, man. You know? It's not who I am. Yeah. But, I mean, and that's what I love. This is what I love about you, man. And really, everybody over at TGMD. Good people. You guys are down to earth. You're real people. You're hardworking people. Um, you, you, you're loyal to your, to, your, to your talent and your clients. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you're real. If you have to get hard with somebody, it's for their own good. You know what I mean? But most of the time, it's like you can come in and say, hey, man, how you doing? It's very, very friendly, and you guys are like, like more like a family, Absolutely. right? It's a, it's a nice friendship, and I love that, and I think that's the way it should be. Don't take advantage of that, though. You yes. know what I mean? It's like, be cool, know that these people are there, and they're real, and they're there to help you. It's but a business. But help them, too. Yeah. You know? Dude? Thank you so much, man, oh, for please. coming down here. Thank you so much, Ilko. Absolutely. Ilko Drozdowski, ladies and gentlemen, from go TGMD back and get on the Los Angeles. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Hey, everybody. This is Ilko Drozdowski, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy, the coolest, rockinest people around that I've met today. Well, there you go. If you want an agent, now you have the information you need to go out there and get one the right way, right? Great stuff. Great awesome stuff. stuff. Keep up with us, you guys, on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest at VO Buzz Weekly. We'll see you next week, and just remember, you, you always have time for a little buzz. buzz.